Hey everybody, it's Cassandra Mwah, and I'm here doing this little mini beauty review on a very popular product throughout the world, and it's the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette, and I've used it on my eyes today, and I'm going to say I was quite surprised and very happy with my purchase. I first tested it in the store and I thought it was a little powdery, but I think it really does set into your skin well. And here are the colors, um, Venus Foxy WOS Naked 2 Faint and Crave. Oh my God, that was obviously not planned. Um, can you say poorly made? <laughs> Okay, um, well, uh, that changes it a little bit. I hope these don't fall out all the time. I mean, how old can this be, you know? Um, well, the product is still okay. I'm gonna say for, you know, 20 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever, it's, it's, it's pretty good because you get, you know, six colors, but um, I basically told the woman at Sephora that I needed something that was you know, with no shimmer in it. I needed some eyeshadow palette. I need an eyeshadow palette for all the models I'm working with here in Dubai. So, um, she got me this and I was like, you know, I know about, I hear about Naked and I, I know a lot of friends that like it, but I don't know a lot of makeup artists that like real good makeup artists that really like it. So, you know, it was, this is my first Urban Decay purchase other than the, um, I, uh, staying, uh, stuff the primer for your eyes I forgot what it's called like potion or something it's like in a little purple thing and I I mean for me I, I don't have like a huge um, problem with Urban Decay but um, I mean that was really funny that, that fell out um, this is the box this is the thing that you'll get it in and you can find it prob probably anywhere. Um, and I'm just gonna say that it is a recommendation. I think it is a pretty good palette to have, and my eyes, you know, they look pretty nice, but at the same time, like there's, it's just, I don't know, I it's not camera worthy, you know, it's very light and it's not too heavy, and I know you can layer it, but for me, I like, you know, if I get a dark color, I would just want it to be dark. Um, so I'm gonna have to say, yeah. Um, so I don't know um, how beauty reviews go. I actually don't think I've ever watched a beauty review of somebody else, but everyone told me to do beauty reviews, so I'm just doing one. Um, and I don't really know what else you say about a product. Uh, so if you have a, like advice, go ahead and let me know what you what else you'd like to hear. Um, I've seen people do this thing where they kind of put it, uh, you know, on the hand, okay, um, maybe I'm catching on. Um, this is the WOS color. I mean, it's very, very light. And then I'll do the Crave. I haven't used it on my eyes yet, but it's the dark one. And it looks pretty dark. Um, but like you, like I said, you blend it out a little bit and it's just like, now it's gray and, and it's good for smoky eye, I guess. And then Faint, let's do that one over here. I mean, that one's okay. That's the one I kind of used in the crease, and then I used WOS here, and then I used some Foxy in the corners, and like a, the Venus has a little shimmer in it, so I use that on like the inner corners of my eye. Um, and you know, it's so crazy because I'll wake up in the morning and I don't even do a full one color on my eye. I have to have like two or three. Um, I guess that's the beauty of being a makeup artist um, and being crazy about makeup. But um, yeah, this palette's not bad. It's not the it's not the worst. Um, so if you have twenty bucks, go get it. Um, and I would love to hear what you guys think about it, your likes and dislikes. I wore it yesterday, and I felt like the staying power was pretty good. I wore it out and uh, throughout the night. But like I said, it it doesn't the staying power isn't like really really harsh. So it's light. Um, talk to you guys soon. I hope you like that review. Four minutes of blab. All right, talk soon. Bye.